Welcome back. This is still JC Sako Show, your favorite gospel show in the 254. My name is Miriam Masawa and the ones are two Palini DJ next. And here we are on our inspiration vibe segment. We're going to share the word of the Lord that can help us do our Bible study throughout the week. And today I'm asking you, what talents do you have and how do you use your talents? Which talents has God blessed you with this with? Because God is the giver of all good things and I know he has given you some talents. How do you use your talents? So we want to talk about serving our God using our talents. Because all of us, that is all of us, has been given our talent. And how do you use it? So we read that in the book of First Peter chapter 4 from verse 10 and 11. Okay. And it says, as each has received a gift, employ it for one another as stewards, as good stewards of God varied grace and uh, other version says as, as each has received a gift employ it it says b use it to benefit others as god's stewards of of god's varied grace verse 11 which says whoever speaks as one who utters oracles of god whoever renders service as one who renders it by the strength which God supplies in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. God has given us, each one of us, each, kila mtu, amepewa a gift, a talent. Amepewa talent. As in, sir, e talent, unaitumia kivipi, okay? Each of us has been given unique talent. We can not all be. We cannot all sing. We can not all, all of us cannot dance. To be such a weird country or a weird nation, a weird world where all of us just dance. So that's why each of us has been given a unique talent that shapes who we are and sets us apart from each other. DJ Nix, he's good at DJing. Yes, I'm good at hosting a show. There's another one who is good at singing. There's another one who is good at drawing. So if you if you think that your talent is simply to benefit you, no, no, you've lost it. You've lost the, the, the you've missed the point of life. Your talent is just to benefit others. So if DJ Nix is good at DJing, William Wanyana Wachom, he's benefiting it. If those, if those, uh, if, if you're good at dancing, like Renee's, she was here dancing and singing for us, it has benefited you. As in our talents, it's benefit others. My talent's good to benefit you. And your talent will benefit me, as in all that to do that, serving God to benefit each other. So God gave, God, God, God has given you talents to benefit others, and God has given me talents to benefit you, as in that's the way it is. Yeah. So we do not own the talents. Remember, the 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 verse says that we we do not own the talents. We are only steward. Stewardship works in a way that I give you this pen, for example, I give you a pen. I tell you. Take this pen, write a letter, a love letter to all your friends and family and tell them God loves them. So that's how stewardship works. So God has trusted us with these talents to benefit others. So we are supposed to use these talents to serve others, to, uh, to serve God and benefit others. So if you're singing a gospel song, uh, someone will be, as in it will just minister to someone and bring them to Christ. That's how we, our talents is supposed to work. It's not to benefit ourselves or to earn money out of it, hapo umepoteza kidogo, but ni, ni unatumia talent yako kusaidia mse na kusav God. That's how our talent is supposed to work. So we do not own the talents, we are only stewards. And we are supported, we are supposed to use the talents to serve God by benefiting others. God has trusted us with the talents and he expects us to use it. If not, remember, if you're not using the talent, it will be taken away. How? How? You ask how will the talent be taken away if God has trusted you with this talent? Yes, it will be taken away. If you read in the book of Luke, you remember the, the, the master went away and left uh, his servants with ten talents. There's one who came back, there's one who came back with double vote. There's, there's another one who came back with five of what he had given. So there was, there was this, uh, this master... When he returned, the servants had doubled. There are those who did not double. He just gave them the ten talents. Wakenda to wakayeka. Kusema, Master, did not do anything with it. Just take your talents. Alinyanganywa and those talents were given to someone else. So if you do not use your talent to be taken away, and how can you use your talent? By just practicing. If you're good at singing, Please practice, learn, get mentorship, learn the craft, get mentorship to do it, strive to get better. Use your talent 
properly, use it wisely, and also grow your talent. Do not just remain the same. Grow your talent. So if you do, um, so we grow our talent. You use it wisely. You use it to benefit others, not ourselves. Remember, we use it to benefit others. So, but first, you need to know your talent. Untakana kujua. Untakana kujua talent yako ni gani? Because you cannot. Wezi tu wana umsani anaimba. Po apia mita kuimba. But go and pray. Pray about it, and God will reveal what your talent is. And if takamani kuchora, use it, grow it to benefit others. So learn what you are good at and build on it. And he e topic. I think I'll just repeat it next Sunday so that we can understand. But because of time, let me just bring it at that. You make a public a full stop. Is a rav. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you. Let me shout out Collins, Collins, Daniel, and Angela for watching us. Who is oh, they're tuned in in Kitale? Yes, they're in Kitale watching us. Next, do you have any any yes. other?